Janet Kelso, a colleague of Santa Pavo at the Max Planck Institute, has been studying the history of humans through comparative genetics. In terms of diversity in the Neanderthal population, that was much lower than what's, what we see in present day populations. So if you look around this tram carriage, there's more diversity in this tram carriage perhaps than there was in the population of Neanderthals that we know about. We think that that's probably because they were living in rather small populations. When we got the first really high quality Neanderthal genome, one surprise was where the two versions of the genome that this individual had inherited from its mother and its father had no differences between them. And this obviously suggests that the mother and father of these individuals were closely related. They are on a level of half-siblings or double first cousins. We don't know if this is typical of Neanderthal societies at that time or if it's something special that happened in this cave at this point in time. What's certain is that low genetic diversity is not good for a population. It is known that populations that are more interbred, that have less diversity, have less ability to respond to, say, a new pathogen or um, a changing environment. So this diversity kind of provides a buffer for the environment, and if the Neanderthals were less diverse, then it's quite possible that that may have contributed to why they died out. But it turns out that Neanderthals may not have died out completely, after all. Genetic research can tell us a great deal about who we are and where we come from, and it is completely reshaping our idea of what it is to be a modern human. While our Homo sapiens ancestors were sharing the planet with the various lost tribes, there was of course the chance that they might have interbred with them. This meant that there was a possibility, however unlikely it seems, that there might be a remnant of some archaic DNA hanging around in the genomes of present-day humans. So the geneticists in Leipzig went digging for it. What we wanted to look at was whether there was interbreeding from Neanderthals into modern humans, and our expectation was that there was none. And when we got the first result that suggested that there had been interbreeding, we were very skeptical, all of us. Comparing modern human DNA to the detailed Neanderthal genome seemed to suggest some sharing of genes. We all kind of spent a lot of time looking at the data, trying to figure out how this could be an error. But the evidence was there. Certain modern human genomes from different parts of the world contained sections that matched the Neanderthal DNA. So what we're looking at here is a region of chromosome four. At the top, we have two Neanderthals, and then we have a Denisovan, and then here we have Asian individuals, European individuals, South American individuals, Papuans, Australians, and then a group of Africans. And if you look down, you can see that at most positions, Everyone is very similar, and that's because we're very closely related, right? Modern humans and Neanderthals are not that different from one another, which makes it really hard to, to work out where are the interesting differences. And so what we do is instead we mask out, we remove all the sites where everyone is the same, and we only look at the sites where individuals differ from the reference genome. And so what you see here now is the Neanderthals and the Denisovan carry a difference from the modern human reference at this position, and here, and there, and there. And some of those differences are shared by a number of populations, including the African individuals. And some of those differences are shared just by a few individuals. So here, and there, and there. When we went through the genomes of, of Africans, and of Europeans, and of Asians, and counted how many DNA bases in each of the genomes matched the Neanderthal genome, we saw very consistently that all the groups outside of Africa shared more Neanderthal DNA than the groups inside of Africa. 